two, three, four. album was first supposed to come out in 2011. Why did it take so long to finally be released? I, I made songs. I started working on uh, Willpower in early 2011. Um, and when I was complete, like around, you know, January 2012, uh, songs were leaked. That was the, 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 the original date the album was supposed to come out. Um, Christmas 2011, January 2012. But a lot of songs got leaked, so I had to record new songs. And um, when I started making new songs, I got totally inspired and took off on a totally new direction by incorporating orchestras and um, subject matters that were about what was going on in the world, like uh, Ghetto Ghetto and The World's Going Crazy and Geeking. So I, I just came on a new course and direction. So that's why it took so long. Practice makes perfect. Perfection takes time. And I'm proud of the result of the new songs and willpower. On Twitter, you said that you spent much time searching and finding. What were you searching for exactly? I searched for a lot of things on Twitter. I like to find uh, code writers. So I asked questions like, where are the code writers at? Because I want to collaborate and surround myself with you know, computer scientists and platform builders, uh, gadget, you know, innovators. So I was searching for those folks. I was searching for, you know, just new people to collaborate with. So that's what I've been uh, searching for on, on Twitter. 
What was your personal ambition with this new album? I wanted people, I want people to know that the brain, this brain here, that makes a lot of the Black Eyed Peas songs has solo uh, ambitions as well. I just would like to be recognized for the things that I contribute to popular culture. So this solo record was my way of uh, trying to compete with myself in the Peas to see if I could have success outside of the Peas utilizing the same mental muscle. And uh, not that I want to, like, I have ambitions of playing Start the France by myself. I'm not having those type of dreams. I just want to have songs like Scream and Shout perform the same level as a Black Eyed Peas song. Songs like uh, This Is Love and That Power and Fall Down. These songs mean a lot to me, so I want to see them succeed the way I've seen Black Eyed Peas succeed. Like that, y'all. Motherfucker, I'm picking that rap, y'all. And the name of the game. 
Can't you scratch up? Got motherfucker like that catch up? I'ma smush up, can't push up Hurry up, call me that drug push up What the fuck is a damn damn issue? Y'all wanna be really damn issue? I'ma miss y'all, girl wanna kiss ya Hurry up and kiss the ball when I let it all Like this when I hurry up and let it roll, let it roll Nigga, I'ma rock and roll Nigga, I'ma sweatin', whoop Nigga, I'ma sweatin', whoop Yeah, nigga, I'ma sweatin', whoop But that ain't no Mali, I'm hot like a tamale Oh, shit, I'm out Ah, uh, fuck, I don't even know Freestyling though That's cool, does working with Michael Jackson was the greatest gift you were ever offered? Working with Michael Jackson was the biggest accomplishment. Working with Michael Jackson is like, for me, I never, I never dreamt of winning a Grammy. I used to dream of meeting Michael Jackson. So when we won a Grammy, that was fulfilling and that was amazing. When we won seven Grammys, I was like, wow, that's amazing. But working with Michael Jackson was like more than a dream come true because I just wanted to meet Michael Jackson, let alone working with Michael Jackson and Michael Jackson coming to my house and singing in my studio and becoming friends and call me on my birthday and I call him on, on his birthday and Father's Day and, and becoming a friend with Mike is like the greatest accomplishment. Coming from a, you know, I was 11 years old listening to Michael Jackson, dancing like Michael Jackson. So it was a, it was a, a real accomplishment in my life. And I'm honored to have worked with him and know him as a person. What about the music you guys made together? Is there a chance we may hear it one day? As a matter of fact, I was trying to put a song that Michael Jackson and I recorded. I wanted to put it on willpower. So last month, I wanted to take one last shot of, uh, I wasn't gonna push the record back again, but I wanted to try to uh, put a song that Michael and I recorded on willpower. Um, and it was a song called I'm Dreaming. But I was, I, uh, the state didn't allow, allow that to happen. So um, we'll see what, what happens to that song. Your music is pure entertainment. Is your first ambition to spread good vibes to people? My first um, attempt is for, to make me happy because uh, I worry a lot. And, uh, and so making music is like an escape to you know, to to make me feel good about the day. That's first. If something makes me smile and makes me, you know, feel good, I I like to share that with people. I went to the club and looked around 
down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, back. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it up now. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it, shake it up. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it, shake it up. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down, down. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, down. What's the main difference between willpower and your previous solo work? So, Songs About Girls is about my ex-girlfriend. And it's a personal record about me letting go and uh, coming to terms with a closure in my life that helped me be the person that I am. Um, that album is dedicated to the time and the, uh, the sacrifice that me and you know, the person I was with had, and I appreciate what she's done for me. So it was my way of communicating to her my appreciation and um, how I feel about the closure. So willpower is about new dreams. You know, one into one, you know, on Geekin, it's me appreciating, you know, the community of geeks and code writers. And that's a new dream that I have um, to contribute to science and computer science, um, code writing, and, and gadgets. Um, willpower is about um, achieving uh, new goals in life, bettering myself, uh, acknowledging what's happening in the world like um, ghetto ghetto and uh, the world's going crazy. Willpower is about you know, disciplining yourself and making sure the dream is the most important thing to fulfill. Uh, that's willpower. The working title for Willpower was Black Einstein. Isn't that a bit presumptuous? So, no, Black Einstein is a totally different album. Willpower is, it's two totally different styles of music. Black Einstein is like 1989 to 1994 hip-hop jazz music. So that's what Black Einstein is about, is, is my ode and appreciation for the style of music that inspired me to make music. That's Public Enemy, Trap Car Quest, De La Soul, Gangstar, uh, Black Sheep, uh, Jungle Brothers. Black Einstein is me exercising that passion of production and songwriting. So that album is dedicated to that style of music only. Willpower is a totally different project. Justin and Brittany, do you feel like you're a godfather for them? No, I feel like I'm a friend to Justin and Brittany. And that's the best thing you can be when you're making music and you love music as much as the people you collaborate with. So I'm just a friend for whatever they need, you know, advice, laughs, perspective, you know, a shoulder to cry on, um, a point of the right direction, or just, you know, if they're bored to talk, that's what I am to Justin and, and Brittany. And I, I value our friendship and our relationship. Turn it up, guys.
will lay Stay so cool, I'm chilly I don't make that melee On my way to that belay Used to have a piggy bank But now I got that bigger bank Who, who cares what the haters think They hate on me cause I'm doing what they can I stay on that hustle I flex that mental muscle Hate to brush up my bro I'm on that overlap bro I'ma take it higher And high, high and higher I stay in fly attire Keep burning like that fire no. Your single, That Power, has a strong Daft Punk feel into it. Is Daft Punk a major influence for you? I, I, I really appreciate and, and love Daft Punk and their contribution to music. I like their uh, their vision and their aesthetic and how brave they are to remain anonymous and uh, and, and make music as a duo. I, I like Daft, Daft Punk a lot. I'm a big fan of theirs. I got a feeling with David Guetta was the biggest BEP hit. What was so special about fringe dance music? I, um, David Guetta is a great producer, visionaire, scientist when it comes to uh, beats that are hypnotic and fun to escape to. Bob Sinclair is great too. You know, Justice is great. Air is, I, I love Air as well. Different style, but I like Air. Um, I, I like French music. Um, way back, I like Cerrone. Cerrone is great too. Something about this country that is uh, that loves melodies. So David Guetta is 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 a great uh, influencer. And I remember when he was underground, I was a fan. So the collaboration with uh, I Got a Feeling with David Guetta was uh, a great translation for what was happening in the underground to the pop audience and uh, I'm glad to be, have been a part of it and that's I think that's the reason why it's a big success because it was the first of its kind to introduce the underground to the rest of the world you're involved with many actions to help education and prevent poverty is that important to you to use your celebrity to help promote such causes if I was uh, in the ghetto still I would be a community worker so now that I uh, have success with music, to be able to use that platform to inspire and bring to culture issues that people may be forgetting or ignoring is something that I feel I'm obligated to do. I'm not trying to preach, but I use my own money to send kids to college. They don't have to pay me back. They just have to get a certain grade point average. So if a kid goes to school with an IM scholarship and gets a 3.8, they don't ever have to pay me back money. So there's no debt. And so I think that's important. So I can encourage a kid to be an entrepreneur when they graduate, not look for a job, but create jobs. So I would like kids to do that from the ghetto that I come from. So that, that, that's important, and, and I feel like I'm obligated to do that and use my own money as well. Not, I, 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 like, I like that. My mom raised me that way to do that. Merci. Thank you.